Welcome everyone to HFN. Today is January the 12, 2020, the location to where you learn how to trade different. And as well, we are your trusted source of news. According to the price chart, is this your first time watching our video? You see how easy it is in order to forecast price movement before the market actually gets there. Hit that subscribe button, like and share the video, and then follow us on the other social media platforms, specifically our website at hughfinancial.com and on Facebook. Facebook is the location to where we will place all of our outcomes from our prior price predictions in the stock market and in the cryptocurrency space. So if you want to stay updated on our track record, make sure you follow us on Facebook. All right. So now we're going to talk about Aurora Cannabis and will they be filing bankruptcy in 2020 to 2021? Those two years is going to be very crucial for Aurora Cannabis mostly because they will be unable to pay the debt that they have accumulated in all of the mergers and acquisitions that they've done recently throughout 2019. That is this article. This is what this article is going on, written by the Financial Post with the notion that Aurora Cannabis is unlikely to meet the debt payments that they have for these acquisitions that they did. We have a couple of analysts who are warning and and ringing the bells to everyone in this cannabis space to let you know that it is possible that this company will not be able to pay three hundred and sixty million dollar loan that is due in August of 2021. We are going to look at this article real quick. Then, as always, before you go, make sure you take a look at our price forecast that we're going to do for Royal, Royal Cannabis going forward. There are at least three analysts who have cautioned that Royal Cannabis would not be able to pay $360 million loan that is due in August 2021. So we have one analyst, his name is Christopher Carey, and I quote, this is what he says, with balance sheet risk to remain a core investment thesis in 2020 in our view and lingering uncertainty especially on financial covenants, we struggle to envision a scenario where shares have sustainable support. So all he is saying is that the market is going to continue to drop for Royal Cannabis. We're trading at about $1.65 right now. It might go lower than that, maybe even break below a dollar. He downgraded he downgraded a Royal Cannabis to underperform from his neutral rating and then he cut his 12 month price target from four dollars to a dollar and fifty. Wow. Now, one thing that he expects Royal Cannabis to do is to restructure the debt, and that will be a big help in his perception in helping investor confidence. So he's looking for a Royal Cannabis to restructure the debt. Shares fell for Royal Cannabis by as much as 11% in Toronto on Friday. And as always on our last video that we did, we told you that they are down about 83, 85% from their high back in March, 2019. Now, the second analyst, Piper Sandler, his name goes, he works for Piper Sandler. Name is Michael Lavery. He also downgraded Aurora to underweight. He also had a neutral rating on Aurora Cannabis. He cut his price target from $3 to an even dollar. Citing notable risk from his balance sheet position, Aurora Cannabis simply is not making any money. They are bleeding money off their balance sheet. More money is leaving the company rather than money coming in. Michael also cautioned that Aurora Cannabis is likely to generate negative cash from its operations until the fiscal third quarter of 2021. So Aurora Cannabis is going to be losing money from his standpoint until the third quarter of 2021. That is a very long time from where we are today. This is what Michael also says, and I quote, we project a $200 million cash deficit in the interim which may prove difficult to finance in this capital environment. So they're going to be running a massive cash deficit. So the only way that Aurora Cannabis will be able to cover 
this deficit is by issuing more shares which you already know will dilute the actual value of the shares outstanding or they get to more debt they get more loans but with them already bleeding cash who would be willing to give a royal cannabis more money this is the third analyst right here he works for toronto-based research firm grizzly scott willis now he said a royal cannabis could be headed for technical default meaning bankruptcy if it fails to meet his loans his loan obligations he expects a royal cannabis to write down more than two billion dollars of goodwill and intangible assets sending its equity value below the minimum required in the debt covenants royal cannabis now there is one glimmer of hope for this company and it's 400 million dollars worth of hope they have that at their disposal at the market equity a distribution program that it can go into but that will only further dilute shareholders who already saw the value of their shares reduced by about six percent so yes they can still issue shares out into the market but only about 400 million dollars worth and with the market in aurora cannabis trading around a dollar 65 today who else would want to buy the shares of this particular company these three analysts seemingly are looking for aurora cannabis if they cannot restructure their debt be looking to file for bankruptcy in 2020 or 2021 so this is definitely something that needs to be on everyone's radar for royal cannabis in order to make sure that they'll be able to come out of this bad situation another thing that aurora cannabis did in order to try to sustain the cash that is losing is that they defer the construction of two facilities one in Denmark and the other one in Alberta Canada this is expected to save the company about 200 million dollars of cash in the near term so if Aurora Cannabis is not making any money they're losing money they're stopping the construction of two facilities that could help in assisting Aurora Cannabis make more money they are not doing that right now so literally the steps that Aurora Cannabis is, is taking right now is just to stay afloat they're not looking for investment they're not planning for the future they're just planning for today literally now that does not bode well for the shares of this particular company and anyone else who is interested in this particular company too take a look at this article right here there's just no money coming in. The cannabis sector bracing for a wave of insolvencies in 2020. Oversupply, declining prices, and a slow rollout of stores in Ontario has led to consecutive quarters of weak revenue for many licensed producers. The cannabis industry insiders, they're bracing for a slew of bankruptcies in the coming year as small and medium-sized companies low on cash struggle to raise funds in the downtrodden sector this is what aurora cannabis is going through right now now they're not a small and medium-sized company in terms of its balance sheet but they're struggling for cash could aurora cannabis be a part of this insolvency to where they would have to run for bankruptcy and, and declare bankruptcy let's see so right now we're going to go into our analysis for Royal Cannabis, give you all the update as to what the market did from our last video and Royal Cannabis. Let me zoom in real quick for you. And this particular day, December the 31st, January 1st is when we did our last video for Royal Cannabis. We were looking for the market in Royal Cannabis to see higher prices. And it did that Monday of the 2nd of January. The market did, in fact, move higher. We had a TP at $2.30, fell shy of that on the 2nd of January. So if you was able to catch it around that particular vicinity of where we said $2.30 was going to be our TP, about 5.5% profit into the market. And literally that was the only opportunity for us to see us grab some profit out the market in that particular forecast for Royal Cannabis.
you guys can remember on that video is in our playlist so go ahead and check it out if you want to we was looking for the market on the weekly time frame to move higher and from that video the market price bar right here did not look the way that it has concluded okay so we're still seeing that indication of market weakness in Roy cannabis so much so that this line that we got drawn on our chart we need to change it and we're going to extend it down here to where the market is finding support numerous weeks back in 2016 for Aurora Cannabis. So this is where we're trying to go. One of those analysts from the article was looking for Aurora Cannabis to get about a dollar and fifty. Literally, this is where the market support is going to be at. All right. Last week we did not bode well neither for Aurora Cannabis on the weekly time frame. Definitely a lot of weakness is coming through. So there is literally no hope in the market according to this price chart for Aurora Cannabis. This market is severely weak at the present time. So we're going to continue to play this market in Aurora Cannabis with movement to the downside. Okay. So let's go ahead and switch it back over to the daily time frame, considering the negative news that is coming into this particular market and how many people are expecting Aurora Cannabis to not pay the debt that is coming through. We are going to continue to see this weakness play out in Aurora Cannabis over the next couple of days. Okay, so this is where we're at. Um, about 18.18% from where we are right now in Aurora Cannabis to hit that area of support. All right, so that $2 area of support that we was eyeing previously has been broken to the downside. There's no indication of strength. People are trying to get out of this particular company. So we still have a further ways to go to the downside, especially when you look at it on the weekly time frame in Aurora Cannabis. All right. So in the reverse, prior to this video today, we was looking for Aurora Cannabis to hold two dollars for support. And now until we break above two dollars in Aurora Cannabis, this stock is not a buy going forward. So this is it. Let us know with a comment. Do you think Royal Cannabis is going to be filing bankruptcy in 2020 or 2021? Do you think this company still have any life to give in the cannabis company? I mean, I'm sorry, in the cannabis industry. Let us know. This is our new forecast for Royal Cannabis. And as always, make sure you maintain your profitability and I'll see you on the next one.